Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Let's talk today about putting stitches back on the needles if they happen to fall off. Hi there, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, this is a case where you go, don't panic. Yes, please don't panic. Putting stitches on the needles once they've fallen off the needles can feel like the worst thing ever. I can't do this. What am I gonna do? They're all over the place. Yes, they've fallen off, they're live. They're gonna unravel, it's all gonna go completely wrong. Here you are, here's the tutorial. Let's get this fixed for you. Oh no, the stitches have fallen off the needle. So, what I'm gonna tell you to do first is pick up your knitting gently and with the yarn coming off of the knitting on your right hand side you're going to approach the knitting from that side so that the yarn going into that last stitch is the first thing that you pick up okay so we're now going to just um, pick up those stitches one at a time if you can and pick them up nice and easily don't panic there you go they're all back on the needle now and now we can make sure with the other needle that they're all in the right place because when you start to knit a row you need them to you need to start knitting with the yarn on this side so the stopper is on this end now so we have one more row to make sure they're all facing the right way when you have knitting the stitches need to sit on the needle in a particular way and I'm going to show you that now. They're sitting on the right at the front and then they're sitting at the left on the back. And it feels very natural when you're knitting because you're approaching this loop at the front and you're approaching this loop at the front when you're doing a purl stitch as well. Now that's the bit that happens first. If I just show you that as I move that onto the right hand needle. There you go, that is now there. And you can see that stitch is at the front on the right and at the back on the left. Does that make sense? So I'm doing exactly the same thing. That, that feels natural to just move that stitch over to this needle. The next one is on properly too. You can see there at the front, it's sitting to the front and then that little back loop is on the left hand side so you have a stitch that starts on the right and that would be at the front of the stitch and it finishes on the left and that's at the back of the needle there you go one more and one more and now this one looks like it's on the wrong way around so what we can do is just pick it up from the other side so we want that right bit to be at the front of the needle you just go into it from the back, pick it up and turn it round. There you go. So the front of the stitch is on the right hand side and the back of the stitch is on the left. I'll just pick up some more. Oh, that's one run, that one's around the wrong way. So move your needle into that. The stitch is on the right at the front and it's on the left at the back. That's how stitches sit on the knitting needle. Just be aware of that as you repair the stitches that you've put back on the needles. Here you go, that one's a wrong way around as well. So we move it by going into the back of that loop. It's now on the front of the needle on the right and that left hand piece of the stitch is sitting at the back. That one's okay, that one's okay, that one's okay, and that one's okay as well. This end stitch will feel a bit loose just be aware of that too. This end stitch will feel loose because it's at the end of the row, it's fallen off the needle, you've had to play with it a bit and that is just gonna sit there. But as you knit the next row, it will even out. So don't feel you have to unravel like 10 stitches and then start that part of the row again. There you go. You see that end stitch now looks perfectly natural. There it is, it's not big, it's not loopy, that's fine. So we've knitted these stitches and let me just show you. Here, the stitch that we've just knitted, 
it's sitting at the front of the needle on the right hand side and at the back of the needle on the left. Okay, so we've repaired that row. It fell off the needle. Well, I took it off the needle, let's be honest. And now it's back on the needles and I can continue knitting. Right, oh, isn't that a relief? Your knitting is fixed. It's back on the needles and you're ready to carry on knitting. I do hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I'm here with this kind of video every single week. Tuesdays, there it is right in your inbox. If you hit the notifications bell, then YouTube will let you know that it's there. And you'll find all sorts of tips and tricks as well if you go to my channel and go and look at all the playlists. If you need something, it could well be there already. Go and have a look. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Happy knitting. Hi, I'm just popping in here to say please come and join me for a free knitting workshop next week. This knitting workshop is going to help you become a confident, proud and established knitter, whether you've been knitting for two weeks, two months, two years or 20 years. You may be feeling that you're stuck in a rut with your knitting, you haven't got very far, maybe you're knitting knit stitch and a purl stitch, you don't really understand them very well or perhaps they just sit in your hands and it feels a bit awkward. Maybe you are an established knitter, but you don't really move and progress very well. It's just taken a long time to get where you are now. I'd really love for you to be able to say, I'm proud of what I'm knitting. I'm proud of what comes off of my needles and becomes a finished item. I'm proud of the fact that I knit through an item and it feels easy. Do join me for that free workshop next Friday, January the 16th, and if you can't catch it live, then there will be a replay. However, do join me live because I'll be there to answer all of your questions. I'd love to connect with you and follow your journey after the workshop into becoming a really confident knitter. The link is in the description below. Bye for now. Happy knitting.